How's it going everyone? And as always, welcome back to Continues to Tick. On the surface, it looks like my last video did pretty good, and it's nice to see a few new subscribers join the journey. So to those that are possibly new here, thanks for joining. And of course, thanks to those that continually watch. It means a lot. I started this channel in August of last year, and when I first uploaded, <laughs> I was talking to myself. And sure, although I record this in a room alone, literally talking to myself, in a way I can see it travel slightly further than once before. And that's pretty incredible. Like myself, you must also be cognizant of time, recognizing it doesn't stop, and the value that it holds. And well, if you happen to just blink a little too long, or if you happen to take the time to just not notice, it's sad to say that another season will be over soon. Summer ends this Tuesday and fall starts on Wednesday of this week. So talk about time passing. Hopefully you were able to take advantage of summer. I honestly could have done a better job, but that is time. Unforgiving. And well, in a rather scary way, we can always say, there's always next year. Anyways, all this to say, as you know by now, I put a lot of thought into my future. It's what my channel name infers, especially when it comes to my finances. Thus, I suppose you do as well. And so as the title notes, I've put thought into my potential retirement and my current trajectory with dividend investing and other factors. And well, I'm realizing that I may not actually retire as early as, I, as I'd like with dividend investing. And actually, that's okay. But let me explain. Let me explain when I plan to actually retire and why. And in part two of this little video series, I'll have to show you how. Well, because otherwise this may be one of those, oh, this is too long video. And I'd rather not go there today. But do stay tuned for part two. You won't want to miss that one. That'll hold more of the nitty gritty, I promise. But first, I'm curious. Two questions for the comments down below. At what age would you like to retire? And at what age do you think you'll most realistically retire? What age do you want to retire? At what age do you think you'll most realistically retire at? There's a distinct difference. And I can imagine, as I'm sure all of us, the quote-unquote dream must be of early retirement in either our 30s or 40s. Tapping out of the mandatory workforce, the quote-unquote rat race during that time. Maybe in order to have more freedom, more time, Maybe even explore a more hobby-like style of work. One that we don't consider work. But is this actually realistic? To retire as such an early period in our lives? My response to that is that it may be. It could be. But well, factor in getting married, having kids, unexpected life events, unavoidable health issues, poor financial decisions made in our early ages, and the odds exponentially start to stack in the favor of a later retirement, opposed to an early one. And the more I think about it, it's starting to dawn on me that unless we hit the lottery or have a really significant, and I mean significant, yearly salary, the idea of an early retirement really starts to distance itself from us. And although I could be really methodical with decisions, try to keep my health up, not get married, not have kids, and drive my 2001 Toyota Camry until it implodes on the side of the road, maybe I could actually escape this rat race early. But I realize that there's simply more to this than I initially thought. With time, I began to realize to myself, I'm not so sure that as soon as I reach a point of completely covering my expenses, 
with these dividends or my retirement plan that I'll tap out? Would I actually like that simple, frugal lifestyle for the rest of my life? And honestly, that answer at this time is a likely no. I've asked myself, realizing that if I do retire early, how much will I drop off financially from now? All my expenses should be covered after all, which is most important, but on a rather low income, what will that lifestyle look like? I imagine I'll likely much still need to live frugally for the rest of my years on this planet. I'll likely have to live on less than I spend now, which is hard because I don't even drive a nice car today. <laughs> Jokes aside though, maybe I won't be able to travel much, or my trips will be limited or different. And this is to account for just myself. Everything changes with a partner, marriage, or kids. And what about health insurance for an early retirement? If you do the research, you'll find that health insurance in an early retirement can be quite costly as well. Especially the further away from 65 we are to possibly qualifying for Medicare if we go that route. Because of questions like these, I slowly have come to the realization that even with investing heavily and driving around a 2001 Toyota Camry today and for a foreseeable future, an early retirement may not be possible for me. And as much as I want to escape the rat race, it may not be the smartest move for me personally either. The way I have set up my financial plan and trajectory at this moment, I most likely will work until age 50 and retire with hopefully only slightly less than I make today. However, with the nice caveat of not needing to save as much as I do right now, so a big impact that slight adjustment would have. And working until the age of 50 for this lifestyle in retirement to me is very much worth it although hard to swallow on a daily basis. Hard to swallow as retirement at 50 is still young, but that's definitely not as early as I initially thought. And seeing I just put two years into the workforce with the state of California, I can't imagine putting in 24 or more years for a total of 26 in the workforce. I mean, I'm currently 26 years old today. Talk about buzzkill. And before we make our way into this week's quite sad portfolio review, in terms of growth, not dividend payouts, let me make this clear, growth only. <laughs> How about once again though, if you haven't joined this journey, consider subscribing and liking the video. If not for me, how about for this video of my 8 pound dog Archie, jumping into the river for the first time, to retrieve his toy. That's my boy. Here we are this week in the Jesse's cash flow portfolio, currently sitting at today at $35,790.27. This is on the all time charts and it has an overall return of 30.58%. So the markets have been taking a pretty good hit recently. There was a couple videos ago where we had just hit the 40% return mark for the portfolio once again. And here we are 10% down. And I'll show you just briefly the performance over this past month just to give you an example of what's been going on. But this 30.58% is a total gain for the portfolio of $4,664.68. Of this, from earned dividends, we have $625. And for market gain alone, we're still above, fortunately, still above the $4,000 mark here at $4,038.85. And as I previously mentioned, here's the performance over the past month, and it hasn't been pretty. We're down 2.52% with a negative return of $896.76. If you look closer, our market gain is minus $995.97, so almost minus $1,000. And if it wasn't for the earned dividends over this last month of nearly $100, we'd be about $1,000 in the red. And if we go now to the activity section for this last week, if you remember from my last week's video, we had a pretty good sized cash balance to end the week. And if you look here on September 13th, we actually funneled that into the portfolio. So this was actually part of the snowball, the $30.45 here on September 13th. Also on September 13th, we had 3M, $3.09. And moving upwards, getting paid quite a bit more in dividends. Here we are on September 15th, McDonald's, getting paid $1.89. And then next era Energy, $1.59. And here we are getting paid by, oh, $3.78. And also on September 15th, 
Here's our $500 deposit, just like we always do. I recently got a raise at work, and I might be doing some adjustments to that. I might increase it from the $500 weekly deposit range, maybe to something slightly higher. I haven't really pulled the trigger on it yet, but just figured I'd throw that out there. I'm still contemplating it. And here we are following the deposit with the funnel into the portfolio of $2.11. So $2, $30. We had a $32 snowball this week. And that's great because if we go back to last week, we had a $30 snowball here as well. And here we are on September 16th, getting paid by Duke Energy Corps, $3.73. And last but never least, Waste Management. Really cool company, getting paid a dollar and six cents. And that's gonna be it for this week's video. Thanks again to those that continually watch this series and to those that are new here. And stay tuned for part two for the how and the how I plan to retire at the age of 50 where I further explain a little bit more of the details as to how it is and why it is that I won't retire as early as I initially thought. And remember, just as we made it through seven days, we have a high chance to make it through another seven days. So see you then. And as always, take care. Peace.